I've kind of dreamt about this race for a very long time. Tomorrow, Jackie Hunt Brashma's dream becomes reality. The East Valley mom will try to become the first ever amputee to complete the grueling Moab endurance run. It's a 240 mile race through the trails of Utah in under 113 hours. Team 12's Michael Doudna has more on her incredible goal. It felt like some kind of freedom. I felt like I was flying. For Jackie Hunt Broshma, these trails are a release. But she didn't always feel that way. I was like, people are crazy. If you run, you're crazy. I don't want to be doing it. <laughs> that was before a diagnosis at the age of 26 that would take away the foundation most of us take for granted. So everything literally happened in a span of three weeks. In those three weeks, she was diagnosed with Ewing sarcoma, her leg amputated to save her life. But it would be for the years after that she would struggle with no longer being able to take walking for granted, self-conscious of what wasn't there. It was like I couldn't look myself in the mirror for a very, very long time. Then five years ago, she watched her husband Edwin finish a marathon and decided she wanted to try. I'm very stubborn um, and I was like, well, I want to give it a shot. What started with 5Ks became marathons, then 100-mile races. So I'm so proud of her. Um, she's just caught up and gone past what I've done. On Friday, it will be Edwin's turn to cheer as she attempts to become the first amputee to run the 240-mile race through Utah's national parks. It's going to be a race where you just have to focus on moving forward. But these miles and elevations are nothing compared to what she's already endured. I think I'll be I'll be an emotional wreck when I cross that finish line because it's been everything. It's just just showing everyone what you can achieve. In the end, she hopes that her run can inspire those like her, that anything is possible. I would definitely tell my younger self is look at how far you've actually come, look at what you've achieved and focus on that rather than looking at what you've lost. Now, Jackie is going to have to average around 60 miles a day in order to leave enough time to both sleep and eat. And once she accomplishes this, we asked her what's next. And she says, well, she doesn't know, but expects it to be bigger. We're in Phoenix. Michael Doudna, 12 News.